Hi, I'm Amy Igo with the University of Northern Iowa. I've started using H5P in my Accounting Information Systems course. I'm doing this because students typically struggle with some of the basic information of some of the conceptual items that we have in the course. For example, internal control, business processes, etc. For this reason, I use short H5P interactive activities to help them practice and make sure they have the fundamentals correct so they can then do further analysis. Hello, I am Veronica Paz and I am an associate professor at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, IUP. And I actually use H5P in almost all of my courses. I first started using H5P in my accounting information systems course because it was really conceptual and the students are having such a hard time reading and so I thought I would incorporate something a little bit with a little bit more with some activity and some fun. Heavens forbid we make accounting fun, right? Well, that's what I was trying to do and I had positive feedback from my students, so I loved it. And then I went ahead and incorporated H5P into many other courses as well. Now on to the site where Amy and I share all of our H5P elements. The easiest way to access is to go to accountingteachingtools.com. And once at that site, then you'll see we share, myself, Amy, and several of my other co-authors, we share all types of tools, tips, and techniques. So for H5P, you'll see here that you can access the course page from any one of these elements. So in this video here that you see on the website, here I teach you how to embed any H5P element that you find on our site into your LMS. And if you are brave enough to actually create an H5P element, this video will show you how to create a multiple choice question. So these just are here to help anyone. So let's access the course page from this link here, and then you'll see all of the courses that we have any H5P material on. And for this video, I'm going to look at the AIS, Accounting Information Systems course. And so you see that we have a bunch of topics or lessons or concepts. So I'm going to actually go into our transactions just to pick a different one and um, ERP systems. And then here you see our H5P element and you see it has an embed link. And then you see a drag and drop activity as well. And then you see it has a download and embed link. So basically all anyone has to do is just click this embed link and then hit control C to copy it. And then you can just go ahead and embed that into your LMS. And we have all types of activities here. Here's a drag and drop where all you have to do is just put the information where it belongs. And then you see how easy it is. And so, and then we add videos, we add activities, we add any type of PowerPoint slides that we have. And so then all you have to do is just go back to the course page and access another lesson and you'll see a bunch of other H5P elements. So here we just have more of a course presentation and then I have a video as well and more PowerPoint slides. So each course is a little different. Our AIS course is probably the one that has the most um, H5P elements because we both created them and it has quite a few lectures as well. So thanks for watching.